Welcome back heroes to some more Node Heart. Last episode we made our way to the Snowlands. We did so many things. We did some side quests, we caught some Tama, we got some cards, and then we got attacked by uh, some weird program that's uh, used a third of its power and is already pretty strong, so I'm not looking forward to um, when we fight it again because it's been keeping an eye on us. But today we have so much to do, like always, there's always something to do in this game. And I just need to decide what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. So, I think first things first, we're going to head to the pond. Didn't explore the pond last episode, so we can check that out. Um, up here, I believe, takes us the Ice Palace, which we'll do uh, in a little bit. But let's go to the pond, which should be just round here somewhere. Over here, yeah. Go check this out, hopefully meet some new people. There's an item down there, can we go get that? Maybe find some new Tama. We also got to find um, Yuri's sisters. We need to uh, go back to check on the arena. Go to uh, so the uh, the meadow to get the crafting gear. There's a lot to do. Ooh, we can just do a little bit of fishing here. What can we get around here? Anything gonna pop up? Oh, and we have a battle. Oh. That's a snowdra. That looks cool. Okay. And it is weak to fire. And we just uh, one shot it. Nice. Oh, in case you missed last episode of well, there's the new tunnel we got, sh uh, Shuffle. We actually got a few. But this thing is so, so adorable. Look at it. Ah, oh, it's so cool. And it can evolve again at level 20. It's got pre evolution, but we've got like this, uh, yeah, ancestor line, which is awesome. Let's go and talk to you. Hi, Traveler. I am Dinah, the legendary strongman dinosaur. Ha <laughs> ha I see you're a Tama Tamer. What a coincidence. No. This is fate. You did not come here on accident. You came here to get strong. Yes? Uh, yes. Not sure? Not sure? Sure you're sure. I'll train your Tama to be the strongest in the land. Talk to me when you're ready. Okay. So Traveler, you come here to become the strongest. I can make your Tama train a specific stat through battle. Your Tama levels uh, up while battling mine, it will gain that stat. No matter its stat. Oh, affinities, okay. It's strength and stamina day. Uh let's let's go for some health, why not? So we'll just uh take you out. Oh, we have to pass first, because it's your turn. Can't set no traps up. And heavy bash does like nothing. We're level 28, so sorry, I'm you're level 18, I'm level 26. So this shouldn't be um too difficult at all. Probably take you out like an evil flame. <sighs> Close. Number one, finish you off. Oh, you got multiple. Okay. Uh, oh, that's not very effective though. I think, aren't you weak to earth? Yeah, earth kick. Nice. And then a fixel. Um, we switch again. because It doesn't cost anything. Just go candle flame. Candle flame. Candle flame, and then we go Inferno to finish you off. Nice. A lot of exp oh, I didn't get that much experience. I mean, my grinding method's better, but I guess you do get the uh, the stats here, don't you? So, it's probably what, you, what you want to use it for. We got hidden chip. Uh, hidden chip. Increase potential by one. Let's just uh, the seraph. Increases wisdom. Yep. And don't want to decrease a level. I think, is that everything at the pond here? Looks, oh there's a, a glyph there. Let's go and pick that up. Also save the game. It's been a while since I last saved it. So we've got a glyph. And we can take this, I think we can probably take a little shortcut back to Northridge and then head left. I'm not sure if this is a shortcut to be honest, but I'm gonna give it a go and it is nice. All right, so let's now make our way towards the ice palace. Which I think I should be ready for. Like, I, I would like some of my other Tama to be a little bit stronger, but I, I honestly think at this point, if there's Ice type in here, we're Seraph's gonna just sweep everyone and everything. Oh, there it is. And maybe the uh, the factory will open soon as well. Not sure how we get to the factory, but can we just no, check around back here? Might find something and anything on this side? Chest, ultra recovery. All right, can we go inside? Yes, we can. All right, let's go explore this place. Yo, fight me. Intruder alert. 
execute in data form battle program. Please do. Please do you got a Yuki. Oh, lies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is bad. Um, here I was thinking I'll be fine and then just... Nope. Uh, not doing much. I wonder if I can take you out if I go... Finish it off. Way just about. And then we're super effective here. So we can get some earth kicks and ground pounds. Oh, you're switching me out. Please don't kill me. <laughs> oh, don't kill my shovel. Oh, you suck. You suck. Oh, just keep switching me out. Okay, you know what? You know what? It's fine. You suck, Lumi. I like you as a tummer, though. <laughs> uh, at least you're going to evolve. I think your strength's high enough now to evolve. We'll see. Yeah, that's good. We get in strong again, BB. Need to get you about level 25, 26 ready for Toy Castle. Also, before we go to the Toy Castle, I'm going to make sure I do a little bit more grinding for the whole team. So I can switch things around if I need to. Over here, Seek. I don't know if it's simply your presence or what, but those guard bots seem to be completely uninterested in me this time around. Well, for better or worse, I say we use this opportunity to snoop around. The rumor has it there's a secret passage somewhere leading to a hidden underground section. Let's try to find it, shall we? Sounds good. All right. Uh, I don't want to head down here first. I want to explore this floor and then we'll go down. At least we know a way to go. That looks like it takes us up. Uh, also up. <laughs> Anything else on this floor? It, okay. We'll start from the left side then and we'll make our way around. Uh, I do want to just... Do I have like a re revive somewhere? And you'll get experience... Off. Oh, do I need to... Um, Yeah, I need to reboot you now. Let's just put some of these potential in stuff just in case. Yeah, I'll do. And then we reboot you. You're going to be nice and strong. And surviving them fatal hits with 1 HP is going to be... Oh, mwah. So good. And you're going to keep healing. How annoying you... Oh, I forgot you can change your color as well now, can't you? Hey, nice. Level 31. And you can get to 24. So we'll reboot you uh, soonish. Right. Let's go explore. Go down again. Oh, this is going to be a big place to check out. Hopefully follow lots of uh, good tummer. Oh. And the grinding shouldn't be too bad as well. Yeah, you ain't doing much damage to me. Ideally, I would love to reboot with Seraph again. But right now it's just... Until our starter is like fully leveled up. I think I'm not going to reboot with Seraph until I know that can carry. <laughs> Oh, Sarsa's almost grown level as well. A lot of more moves, sweet. Should have got to switch the moves around on our starter soon. I did not like what it had. So this is, does this take us back to the start? By the... Yeah, okay. So I know where we are. So both these bits take us back to the first room. So let's go right. What do we got around here? Oh, chest. Just, just a chest. Oh, it's a statue that heals you up. Right? Once a day. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the Genshin statue that heals you up. <laughs> oh, is it the statue of the seven? Alright, so we... No, yeah, go down this way. Go further and further down. B2. Oh, we got some Tama down here. Got some sentry bots and... There's only one way down here, so where does this take us? Got a glyph? What's this? So, uh, we are the palace guard program. Your presence is causing our master grief. You must leave. Now. Uh, should we force a fight? Yeah, sure. Prince man level 20. I mean, we got this. Doesn't seem too tough. Uh, let's go Inferno. Nice. And Inferno again. That should probably one-shot you. Yeah, 300 damage. Ooh. Oh, you got a lot of moves, though. We have Ethereal and we got Armor, so we should be fine. Yeah. 
We good? Oh, frozen. Okay. Uh, evil flame. Evil flame. And Inferno finished off. Nice. Easy, man. Easy. Okay, them stats. Oh, and you're evolving. Wonder what you look like with the color change. Ah, oh, looks so good. So good. So we are. We we. Oh, seems to have malfunctioned. I feel like we probably want to take out all of those if we can. Oh. There's a security code protecting these doors. You can't go through without disabling it somehow. Maybe take out all the um, security things. That's what I'm going to assume. I'm going to do that first. Take all these security things. Don't think we'll take out the little bots going around. But if I fight them, I don't mind. Easy experience. Unless they keep ambushing me and I don't, don't get to attack first, then things could get a little bad. But it should be fine overall. Like, Level-wise... We look good. All compressed, okay. Mm, I think he's back to selling candle flame. Burn down. Another candle flame, and one more finish it off. Nice. Oh, yeah, you are super dead. Sorry. <laughs> Shuffle. Uh, evil flame. Get that ethereal. Ice block shields up. Okay. I'm going to go Inferno, and you are going to die. <laughs> oh, well, Seraph's going to have a great time through here. Very good time. Oh, grab this. You know what? Actually, if I fight all of you together, this... Oh, not. I thought they might chase me and I can fight all three at once. That could have been nice. Uh, a low hum can be heard from behind the heavy metal door. Try to open the door. Yeah, sure. Nothing happened. Okay. If we can find something to open that door, we do. Oh, definitely. Definitely got to try. Oh, you got a cute little M pen. I caught an M pen off screen, so we do have one. I guess that evolves into Foster. Oh, gotta be careful. I take a lot of uh, recoil damage. I had the um, the uh, install item that's kind of it didn't half, but it reduced a lot. I think it was like thirty five percent actually. It was, it was a lot of recoil damage it reduced. And obviously, I haven't got that on anymore, so we'll be taking a little bit more damage. Be a little bit careful. Alright, uh, let's go. So that's... That area fully explored then, right? So we probably want to go to the upper levels. So let's go up here. First floor. Uh, I got to say... Oh, this is back here, okay. So that takes us back up here as well. So the only way to go is to this. So this might unlock the door for us if we take this out. Oh, that's so snowy. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, got to pass. Dude, Wiseraph looks so badass though. Like, you got this cute little... I don't know what, don't know what this is. Like a... I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like a little bit of a bat looking cute thing. And then you just see us and we're like... <laughs> just... Scary looking demon, it looks like. Oh, I want a sparking as well. Uh, burn down. And an evil flame. Get that ethereal. Oh, oh. Shindo. Uh, you know what? That's three times effective. That should surely kill you then. Or not. I really thought that would do it. I guess because it's... Uh, no, it's magical. I thought it was going to kill you. Wow, that's so much better. So much better. 21. I've got to put them potential points in soon. Right, that's malfunctioned. Maybe. Yeah. It's not on the door anymore. So let's go and open this bad boy up. Oh, before before I fight you though. Got a hole. Oh. Every time. I forget they like ambush you so you don't get to just attack right away. Alright. Yep. Just keep attacking. It's all good. It's all good. Because when it's my turn. Mate, you're going to regret that. See? Told you. And again. <laughs> oh, with Seraph, you're an absolute monster. 
Absolute monster. Right. Oh, maybe we can't go through. It must be like an area with mist then somewhere. Question is where? Is it that one there? Do we get that one? Yeah, because that's that one. Hmm. Am I sure I did everything? Maybe we can open this now? Nothing happened. Double check, I can't go this way. No. Right, so we've hit the two sentries. We've gone to every room? No, I didn't do this one. Missed that one right there. So that this, was the this has got to be the last one then. Because now we've surely gone everywhere. Oh, I was having a one shot. I should have gone for a few candle flames. Might, if I go the wrong way and I go to that, towards that statue again, I might get healed up. Defrost and candle flame, candle flame, and the last one. Oh, okay. You know what? We still do a lot of damage, so I'm going to go Dark Inferno, finish you off, hopefully. No, we're not going to. You got two, five HP. Well, we should just do this and then any second. There you go. My Seraph Man, you're an absolute monster. I have to recommend if you're playing this game, you gotta get a with Seraph. Get a Whisper. Not sure where else you can get them, but I know, you, like, I got mine in the mansion. There's probably like more places to find them. Uh, let's. Do we go up here? Yeah, alright, and then we go through here. The Sanctum. Why does this feel like I'm getting like towards the end? I just want to just heal up just in case. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Let's make sure we're like ready. Um, got the revive. You know what? Yeah, we should be fine. So finally, you appear before me. I am Ciro, Monarch of Ice. Yes, I'm well aware of your quest. Looking for the key parts, is that right? What will you do once you have all, the, all three of them? Climb Mount Nexus and die in a battle against the virtuals? I'm going to try not to. So you're trying to stop the compression in order to save everyone? Hm. Still, I can't allow you to have this key. At the very least, you'll have to force it out of me. Now, show me your full strength. Or face your demise. Oh, here we go. Right, uh, it looks like we have to pass first. Oh. Oh, that's fine. Did so much, like, so many points I thought I was going like, to do so much damage, but it didn't. Alright, candle flame. Defrost. And I'm going to go for another one. Burn down should finish you off. And burn down again. Evil flame. Evil flame. The next turn we can go for like Dark Infinite. Oh, wow. Seraphia? Seraphia? Don't know when you pronounce that, but that looks badass. Inferno. Inferno. Oh, okay. I was going for Evil Flame. I'm going for Inferno. My bad. It's all good. I'll spam Inferno next and then Dark Inferno finish you off. Barry, oh, okay, okay. You get that 40 HP back. Ain't gonna make a difference. Oh, defrost. And oh, I can get off another dark inferno. It's fine, it's fine. Alright, here we go. Dark inferno, you know you wanna just like take it out. Oh no, cut the defrost. Oh, I keep doing that. My bad. I should have waited. Alright, it'll give you a lot of points. So uh we need defrost defrost first. So we go burn down. Defrost. Okay, I'm going to burn down. Uh, candle flame. I wanted to try and do a little bit more before I go for Dark Inferno. Oh! That's close. Alright, got to defrost again. Alright, now Dark Inferno. And we win! 
Oh no, you got more. Okay, okay, that's actually fine. It's all good. Uh, flame Ghost Claws, that's mixed. Um, gonna go Inferno, Defrost. A burn down. That recoil damage hurts, but Dark Inferno maybe finish you off? Hey! <laughs> oh, with Seraph just soloed this dude. With Seraph, you're an absolute monster. Honestly. Cannot believe it. <laughs> Ooh, very well. You've proven yourself. I'll let you copy this key. But know this whatever plan you may have, the virtuals cannot be beaten. They are the systems themselves, and the linchpin holding it all together. Dislodging them from their place would break apart our worlds as well, irrevocably. Just keep that in mind. Okay, ice domain done. And we got the ice key. Nice. No need to promise anything to me. Whatever you decide to do, I'll make sure my domain is protected. Now, be on your way. Oh, and we can reboot again. Ooh, man, we can get so strong. So, 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 so strong. Right, so let's get out of here. Now I have to continue doing all the things that I need to do. And try and remember what I was going to do. Wait, no. Back up. Let me go to the middle room. Where's the archaeologist? Maybe we'll meet him outside? Oh, he's gone, alright. Uh... Huh. Just, there's just so much to do. I'm trying to think like what I want to do. Um, right, so it's almost morning. So I could do something I want to do very soon. But uh, should we ditch the snow duties again? Huh. Are you a visitor? It's kind of obvious you are now that I look at you. Uh, that you can do to help me. Yeah, why don't, you, why don't you come back a bit later? Okay. Different time of day, we'll go do that. So if we go and speak to you, maybe you got something? I know, you're mesmerized by my beauty. Uh, yeah, so you still say the same thing. Uh, so we'll come back at a different time of day then for this. Cause he says he's got five sisters, right? Hey, see, did you find all my sisters yet? If they're not here and they're not outside, you should go check the town. All right, so we got one here. Wait, is this something I can pick up here? No, not like I could for a second. One up there. So that's like... Oh, I'm not here right now. Well, that's... I think I found four of the sisters. Can I just like rest up? And we'll go speak to her again, see if anything happens. Alright, so she's just... Oh, out here. Yo! Alright. Uh, come back a bit later, okay. I guess I'll come back later, later. So, what I'll do, which I haven't done in so long, is go back to the dump. Alright, now we're here. Uh, we should go and check out the arena. Let's see if that's up and running. Hey, you're just in time. The arena is finished, hey! We have a lot of applicants already. This is going to be a success. If you want to join the opening tournament, talk to my maid. She's in charge of tickets and registrations. Uh, yo. Greetings, welcome to the arena. I see this is your first time entering a tournament. Please hit this gadget and install it as I briefly explain the rules. Medals. There are nine arena ranks. You start without a rank and when you win your first tournament, you'll enter the beginner rank. Uh, to go from beginner rank to new tamer, you'll need to win one more tournament. Then you'll need to win two more tournaments and then after three more per rank to advance to the next one. Can track your progress via medals. So arena tournaments are single elimination. You need to win all three rounds in order to win the tournament. So once you're ready, talk to me again to register your team for a tournament battle. All right. So, uh, what rank do we need to get to for the the secret tournament thing in uh the by the bar? I feel like it was Rising Star. We had to get to at least. Uh, let's go enter this and let's go and get some ranks. All right, you ready to fight? I am ready to fight. Excellent. Good luck in there. 
Ooh. Seek first roll. Like how you got like some of the townspeople in here as well. But uh, we are probably a little bit too OP at the moment for this tournament. So we're probably going to just breeze through this until we get to uh, an appropriate rank, which I, I don't know what it's going to be. I assume probably like Rising Star is going to be good. That's fine. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Easy. Easy. I should write down the things I need to do. So, like, we know there's uh, two people in the mansion we need to do. We can't go to Rain City yet. We know there's an upgrade in um, Melody Meadow. I don't know where that is, though. But I assume I just got to find the, the... Is it the, ele cow? the, um, or the elephant quest? I feel, I feel like it's got to be that. Potentially, or if someone, someone I've missed. So I can go explore there. Uh, do that. So it's got the upgrade. Uh, we've got Toy Castle. Obviously, we'll do not this episode, but we'll do Toy Castle soon. We've got the factory in the Snowlands, which I don't know how we open, but got that to do at some point. Uh, we've got the, the lake in the morning. Oh, hey, got achievement, and we're beginner. Lake in the morning, and the cliffs in the morning, that area. Uh, we've got the spike person in the desert. Let's write all this stuff down while I do this. Um, what else was there to do? Got to go see, was his name Jack? At Mount Nexus. Uh, so I can say Jack, Mount Nexus... I want to explore Protocol Forest more, because I feel like there's something around that I've missed. There's got to be something there I've missed. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I'll scout through the quest again in a second, just to make sure that we're not missing anything else. Let's seek first Hannah, alright. Oh, we got a lovey. Oh, we defeat, yeah, we defeated Shiny in the Snowlands. We did Luna's Quest. Oh, man, it's just... Love this. It's like my favorite sort of game, just... There's always something to do. Don't feel bored, because it's just like... Something on your mind constantly. Final round. Seek vs. Benny. Let's go, Benny boy. <laughs> just... <laughs> Oh, I feel it's like the, the equivalent right now of like a Caterpie versus like a Mega Mewtwo. <laughs> like you just don't stand a chance. I mean, I mean the Caterpie's got time advantage to be fair, but <laughs> you're still not gonna, you're not gonna do anything. Just easy peasy. So I think we have to win another one, another two to get out of beginner rank. The rewards are nice. So congratulations on your victory, Seek. Those were some great battles. Uh, I mean, they're not great battles. I mean, they're okay. Wait. There are no more open tournaments for today? Ah, oh, okay. So it's like day by day. All right, then. That's fine. That's fine. So, uh, let me check the quests. So that's 25 more people... A trap in Protocol Forest has been activated, but I don't know how to do that. So that's the hidden tournament, but we need to get a certain rank first, and we can't do that otherwise uh, at the moment because Rain City is obviously closed. We don't scan the statue, so we can try and find Jack, I guess. That's the main quest. That's part of the main quest. Don't know where the shopkeeper is. I could go back and try and find this. This is what I think might get us the gear upgrade, maybe? We need to find some paper. So that's for rooms that have paper in it. I think that's going to be in the mansion, so I can go back there soon. Complete the decks is going to be a while. Uh, discover the secret passage inside the ice... Oh, there's a secret passage in the ice palace in Snowlands. Now that we beat the boss, do you think we should go back down to the um, that room? Oh, I should go back there. Oh, and also, I forgot. When we got 20 people here, we can um, open this gate. So what's down here? 
Music here is a bit eerie. Oh, we can go in there. Uh, so this takes us towards the cliffs. I think this is like the area of the cliffs that was blocked off when I tried. You go east to the the sands. So anything else around here we can get? Um, this path here splits in two, but neither way it seems to be accessible at the moment. Oh wait, you know, yeah, I've been here. I know where we are. All right, so let me do this first because I think that's the most important thing. I'm gonna go back over here. All right, let's jump down. Go find that secret room. Definitely want to do that. So secret room first. That wasn't even something I had written down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love this game. Alright. Let's go. Right a bit more. And back to the palace. I'm guessing the palace was smaller than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. After the the temple and the sands, I thought this was going to be like a lot bigger place. For a second I thought it was locked. I was going to say, no! I feel like it's, it's got to be down here. But if it is down here, then the question is how on earth do we open the door? Because I've interacted with it a couple of times. Obviously nothing happened. Nothing happened. So this is definitely it. A low hum can be heard from behind the heavy metal door. Try to open it. And then nothing happens. So. Maybe I can't do this just yet? Yeah, I don't. I don't know how we would do this. Let me go speak to. You again. You have my key part, whatever you decide to do, I'll make sure my domain is protected. Why is there like one white spot here? Does nothing, okay. So, there is... That looks suspicious as well, but... I don't know. Alright, so we did that. I'll come back for this then. I don't know how to find the secret hidden passage. Oh, did I not fight you? Uh, so... Oh, no, nope, not yet. Right, so then what I'll do next. So we've done the arena for today. Uh, depends what time of day it is right now. Starting to get that strength back. And I still got to put all that potential points in. Oh, it's going to be good. Got to change the moves as well, as well before I forget, because I want to get Crystal Blast back. And maybe Earth Tail? Oh, you're going to switch me out? That's a big mistake for you. Oh, I forgot as well. I need to um do this. I meant to do it last episode, but I forgot. salazar has got a new color variant. So let's change that. And we looking sick! Oh man, so cool. And we can all, almost reboot as well. Uh, I've got to put them points in. I'm gonna spend them in a little bit. Right, so let... Wait, is, did I go down here? That's the way out. Okay, I thought it was a floor up higher for a second, I was about to say. So, what should we do? What should we do? I'm gonna check down here so we can't go to the factory. I think the factory might be... something we unlock later on. Maybe we'll like... Yuri's sisters. But it does seem like... Um, I can only find four of them. Might have to progress a little bit further than we can maybe do something with them. Because, yeah, she does not want any help. So if we go down this way, is it over here? Yeah. So here's the factory. I don't think we can open this. Yeah, not going in there. So it's, oh, it's a bit late at the moment. So I'm going to go, I want to explore the east as well. Before I do that, 
we should go... I think that... I think the easiest way... Actually, I'm gonna go through Protocol Forest. It's still quite early in the day, so maybe I've got time to do this. I'm not sure if it's gonna be that little bar, the... Well, that little white bar to get in. Oh, uh, for the morning. But I need to go all the way... Down... Oh my god. No, I don't want to fight you! I hate you so much! Even at level 10, you're still very scary. I'm gonna go down this way. And I think we go south again. We want to do this for a while. So legend has it that once upon a time, fairies were roaming and dancing through these dark woods at sunrise. Perhaps if you get up early, or see one for yourself at an old pedestal where the blue light shines or not. An old pedestal where the blue light shines. With a trap, maybe? Where it was like over here? No. Oh. Oh. Here. So if we get up early enough, something's gonna happen here. Okay. So I definitely wanna do that. So there's nothing else at the moment. Let's go back to the. It's gonna be push me out of the, out of the uh, the battle. Okay. Yeah, push me out of the battle. <laughs> well, the, the the area. Right. So we're back in this not this room. I can't go across here because that's the trap we helped set up. It has to be something to do with the early morning. Because you only want the, um... <coughs> Bless me, so you don't want the Awaz allowed in. Oh, wait, you weren't there before. Hey, mate, funny thing meeting you here. Might even need your help again. Oh? Well, it's simple. I've been hired to uh, fix this thing on my bob, but I keep getting distracted by those wild tummy critters. Are you good at battling, uh, at battling thing? So how about, how about it? Defend me while I debug this thing? Absolutely. For real? Good on ya! Alright, just stand there beside me and punch everyone that approaches. <laughs> Alright, what we got? Oh, it's level 10. Uh, we just gotta pass for now. But while I'm here, I might as well go see Jack. Go see what's gonna happen. Uh, I mean, you're level 10, so it doesn't really matter what I go for. <laughs> Got another one. Oh. Oh, you look cool. I assume you, yeah, because you're three times weak to this uh, ghost move. You're going to turn to the, uh, well, evolve into the thing we battled earlier. Oh, did not mean to pass again. It kind of reminds me of, uh, like I said before, I'm pretty sure. I think it's Armadillo Mon from Digimon Season 2. Like the ultimate evolution. A bit like Claydol from Pokemon. <laughs> I keep thinking of. And fiery, we will just have to pass. And then we can finish you off. Nice. Any more? Oh, alright, I'm done, mate. This thing is too old to be fixed. I reckon none of my debugging tools are working on it. But since you helped me, here, mate, take this. Hate to uh, leave you empty handed. Ooh, backup drive. Alright, I'll see you later, mate. You know where to find me. I do. That was cool. Dude, why is this one green? I guess it, maybe because of the, the grass? I'm going to assume it's because of the grass. It's a bit green. Because the others are like blue. Alright, let's go and find Jack. I assume you're over here. Towards Mount Nexus. Ah, we meet again. So I see you've managed to scan all the statues. That's good. Let me cop over the data and analyze it. Hmm, I see. So these code fragments form an executable that can be printed into an upgrade item. The ancestor code. So you're free to have it. I have no need for tumor items. There is something here that I am interested in though. A chunk of decipherable text. I have no idea if the ancestors wrote this or if it was one of the colonists, but it's worth going through it. Wouldn't you agree? Sure. Hmm, I see. Here's the beginning. Quote. 
If one imagines all of the laws of reality and knowledge of the universe as one large rocky planet that one must drill into in order to excavate the truth, then once all of that planet's rocks and dirt and gravel have been excavated, what lies beneath it all? At the core of existence is an indestructible, impenetrable box. A perfect cube that no laser or light can pierce, that no tool or mind can break. This is the God Cube. Hmm. So far, this merely seems to be a story uh, wrapped around what we already knew about the cube. But let's see. There's uh, one more part. Quote. Seemingly impenetrable uh, uh, though it is, the God Cube object can be uh, probed and tested. Like any other phenomena, by knowing what we can't do with it, we gain knowledge. We devised a theoretical model which predicts the possibility of mining the knowledge locked inside of the cube. However, the process and power required for something like that would exceed all physical limits. A computer the size of the universe would be needed. And even then, energy consumed by this computer would exceed the remaining useful energy in the whole universe. This is the ultimate paradox, yes. You'd be able to mine the cube, but you also wouldn't be able to do anything with this knowledge. So once you mine it, hmm, so that seems to be the end of this chunk. I can't find any other decipherable text. Intriguing, so the knowledge that the ancestors deemed final and forbidden was truly that. Something that should not and cannot be unearthed. Well, even if we can't know what the cube is, there is a vast ocean of knowledge outside of it. I will continue my journey upwards, towards the higher layers. Perhaps one day we'll meet again. It was nice meeting you, Seek. Nice meeting you too, Jack. Alright, I'll be coming for this big boy soon. Kind of want to try and give it a fight, but I just I know I'm going to get absolutely wrecked. Oh, not yet, not yet. Okay, so, uh, while we wait for time to progress, because I want to go and try and do that fairy thing in the morning, where the blue light shines at the altar placed, you know, in the early mornings, that's where we're going to go. So let me cross off. So we've done um, Jack at Mount Nexus. Okay. Uh, we've got plenty of time. So there is an upgrade we can get here, like I said. That person said last episode that we can get an upgrade around here. I just don't know who's going to give it to us. There's only one person I can think of that has given us a quest. Unless like it's like down there, like that's locked off. I don't know how to unlock that. Um... You're not going to join us. So I'm thinking we have to go through here. There's that bit blocked off. So maybe if I go like... No, maybe that is like the way? This takes us... Misty Marsh. Okay. Don't want to be here. I'm going to go back. What if I go... Wait, what? I swear this is different. Where's the... Um... The teleport I just took. I swear it was to the right. Was it this way? Oh, it was here. Okay, I went too far up. So if I go down... Oh, we know this is going to be a mining place. This is Memory Lake. So we just start from the bottom and we make our way around. There has to be an area somewhere. Because the quest... I don't, like, I'm pretty sure like, I looked around Mem Memory Meadow I couldn't find it. But the quest basically does say... Find the last Elecal. Somewhere in Memory Meadow. Use the dive terminal to access fast travel in secret areas. So, it's got to be around Memory Meadow. That's, that will take us towards where the bees are. Um, this takes us... Ah! Byron Forest where we found the card person. That obviously takes us towards the tunnels. This takes us... Protocol Forest. So it's got to be a section of Memory Meadow then. 
I assume this is still protocol forest. Yeah, so that's there. So now when we go up, this definitely takes us... Memory Meadow. I feel like it's got to be around there. This is Memory Meadow. Hmm. I'm going to look around. There has to be like a point of mist. What do you sell? Hmm. Actually, not too bad. Want that. Unless there's like one dive terminal that's just on its own. So this takes us towards Toy Castle. We're not going to do that today. But we are going to be doing that soon. Very soon. This is to play the game. We don't want to do that because we've done it. So I'm just going to like look around. So let me uh, have a little look. And if I find anything, I'll cut to it. If not, we'll do something else. Okay, so I have found it. So it's this one right here. I went past this one so many times. So from the uh, east entrance of Memory Meadow. So when you come in here through uh, going from the the lower bit. From just here, here. So, so Rainland's like the lower bit part. You go left. And obviously up here. And I think we're going to be able to reboot again. Which is insane. When I saw this, I thought, oh, this has got to be it. It's 100% got to be it. Ready? So we go around here. There's only one path it leads to. And is that a sick fault I see? Anything else around here we can grab? Got a chest. Got mana core. Nice. Oh, and a glyph. Alright, I'm glad I found it. So it's a runaway Elecow. Something seems off with it. Try to push it towards the Elecow pen anyway? Yeah, sure, why not? I think level 12. Just gonna... So I feel like you can do this very, very early on. So if this drops one of the, um... The things that get a... Oh, random memory? Okay. Disappeared. Oh, it doesn't drop it. Okay, I thought, I thought it might. If it did, that would be uh, kind of cool. Because if you want to like try and reboot early on, I think definitely want to do the cliffs first, because that would probably be the easiest one to get the second reboot. But let's go and hand this quest in. That's another one down, BB. I think it was down this way. Yeah. Getting used to this area now. Say so what, you found my Elecow, but it glitched out and disappeared. Gosh, oh no. So that's another one lost. Well, thank you, partner. At least for your efforts, I'll give you this. Attack core. Hmm, okay. That's not what I thought I was going to get. So, maybe we get the upgrade in Toy Castle. Because I'm pretty sure I've done everything around here now. So we can uh, cross off... Gonna cross off that, so I've done that, and then now we're just gonna wait till uh, the morning in the protocol forest. I think I'll do. So I can't do the factory. Oh, I guess because I'm kind of close to it, I can go check it out. But I'm gonna get too late. Might be best just to go over. Because we've done so much now, and literally it was this is episode 10. And we've gone for hours and we've obviously progressed so much. I'm not sure if we can get um ooh, ooh. the people oh, that's not can't get across there. The two people in the mansion that wouldn't come. The butler won't come unless the lady comes, and I don't know how to get her, but now we've progressed further, we've got the town up a bit more, she might be more inclined to join. But I'm pretty sure if it's too late, you can't. Um, can't go and see her, but if we go fast enough, maybe we can get there just in time. Banquet hall. Yeah, behind the door. I think it's just this way. And then this room. That's the arena. Oh, nothing here. Go up here, third floor. 
It's locked. Yeah, so I think you have to be coming here during the daytime. And Ashley's room. Oh, she's, she's not here because we got her recruited. But while I'm here, actually, I can try and find this paper. I'm, I'm sure this is what I probably have to do. Um, first floor. And I think it was in down one in here. Because I remember there was a printer. There's a screwdriver there. No, next room down. Can I get paper from here? Nope, did not mean to walk through. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice Whisper there. You can get one here, yeah. So this, I definitely recommend getting one because I've just seen with Seraph is super OP. Is there really like no paper I can take here? Uh, you require a large amount of paper to be delivered to Snowlands. Oh, you're a friend of Miss Ashley's, is that correct? Understood, and this request is made on behalf of the transcribers. We'll make sure they receive the supplies. Oh, sweet. Hey, that worked. Okay, so that's what we had to do. So now let's... Um, go back up and go and speak to him. Ah, oh, let's go. We are slowly making progress. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we've got, we've got a bit of time till morning. I just want to make sure I'm there on time, you know? And not miss it. So we got to be quick. Super quick. Whew. I'm actually excited to do next episode as well because we'll get ready for next episode because we're going to be super OP. Can't wait to like um, just reboot with Seraph and our team. Do you need help yet? Uh, come back a bit later. Yeah, I don't, I don't know when I can help you. For now anyway. So it's this room here. At least I got the room right though. I, I knew, I remember that room with the printer. That's the only reason I went there because I thought printer, it's got to be paper. But uh, you did it. A pretty lady from a faraway land of rain came here and gave us paper. Lots of paper. More paper than Dino Hunter has ever seen. Take this boy, you earned it. And by the way, the transcribers want to fight you, like in a Tama Beast fight. So while you are away, I told stories of your strong strongness. They didn't believe me, so you'll kick their bottoms for me, okay? Uh, Dino Hunter must be off now. There are dinos to be hunted, steaks to be consumed, and dogs to doggos to be fed. Unga, stay well, strongest boy. That's us, man. We strongest boy. So we're going to fight them in a second. I just want to make sure I save the game. Right, I've got time to fight you. So I believe in the words that boss said, but I wish I see your strength for myself. Are you actually strong? Level 19. I mean, we're fine. Oh, got to pass. Right, so I should write off... Did I even write down the paper thing? I think I even did. I didn't even write down the paper thing. <laughs> Alright, let's just bam. One shot ya. Not one shot you almost though. And Inferno! <laughs> that damage is nice. Honestly, I feel like if I just um reboot now and put all the potential points in, I could probably like destroy the enemies around here easy. That was a good fight, you're indeed strong. I see now why the boss likes you. Yo, uh, you, Big Boss said extravagant things about your strength. I will only accept them once I see your strength myself. Hopefully we get something for battling you. It's very easy as well, so we can't attack. Just pass up. Alrighty, and oh. And then when we actually, after we go and do the, um, the, the fairy in the, the forest, I can be a new day and I can do some more arena but I think I'll do some of the arena off screen because it's just it's just tedious it's just battles you know I'm gonna absolutely smash it because I'm strong enough oh my god that's cool that looks so cute it's just sleepy waking up first one first time, I, first time I see one of them but yeah the arena I'm gonna probably cut to when we get to like rising champion or at least something interesting happens but I'll make sure I record just in case uh evil flame evil flame and Dark Inferno finish it off. I think it's actually pretty tough. Do we get anything for doing this? 
All right, all right. You've proven your strength loud and clear. Understand now why the boss chose you. Since you defeated both of us, we'd like you to have this. Oh, oh, we got a card. Hey. Nice, that was totally worth it. Right, let's definitely save the game. And the next thing we will do... How's that an E rank? That makes it like it seems like it's really easy to find out where, where the hidden passage is, but I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I might, might have a look off screen just to see if I can find it, because I have no idea. Complete the decks. How's that? How's our decks even coming along? I mean, it's 48% complete. I'm not sure if I've got to capture them all myself. I mean, I've captured a fair few, to be fair. Like, yeah, we've captured quite a lot. I feel like going around trying to get all of the, the decks done isn't going to be too difficult. Uh, and then we got recruit decks here. Look at that. Definitely getting up there. Feel bad, shiny, just on their own. <laughs> Gonna get some uh, cards around them. Uh, right, so let's go down to the protocol forest. And I don't wanna miss this. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm just there, ready. Cause I feel like we've gotta do something to get into here. And I feel like maybe we could do the fairy thing that will give us access and then we can go find out who led the trap and then we can maybe get some cards around here. Just a lot I wanna do. Uh, it's no, down this way, isn't it? Because I think this is the one place I haven't really explored too much because there isn't really much to explore. So we've got Mount Nexus on the far left and got this cool place. But uh, we will just... Just gonna wait. So I'll see you guys when it's time in the morning. Oh, here we are. Look at, look, look. Ayo. Eek. Uh, Hi. Oh, and gone? Uh. Okay. I feel like. Maybe. This might be, have to be one of those things where you do multiple days. Like, we'll come back again and then be like, oh, okay, that's a lot of enemies. Be like, hey, oh, look, I'm back again. Don't have to be scared of me. So it might be something like that. Oh, oh, I didn't realize these were... Oh, yeah, they're the, uh, the fireys. So, yeah, we will come back in a couple of... Oh, it's a couple of those next day. Let me just talk to you. Uh... Yeah, I saw one. Anything down here? So anything I can think of is we come back another day maybe I can do oh my god they're everywhere <laughs> maybe I can do something now that we spoke to it back over oh this is what we're doing never mind I was completely wrong Neil Traveller we caught the blue fairy we actually did it uh oh no no we can't let it go this is what our chief ordered us to do we have to bring the fairy to the temple men take the fairy to the temple quickly our chief is waiting for us okay then so at least that's how you do that side quest. And we can oh, hopefully get inside now. I thought it's going to be super easy to do. Was this save point always here? I don't know. But you know what? I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we'll go inside the temple. And then we're going to head to Toy Palace and uh, see what happens next. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys then. Have a great day. Peace.